Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 37 of Let's Play Earthbound, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. As for the treasures I may or may not have missed in Lumine Hall, chances are they weren't that great anyway, just standard items you can find anywhere else. With that said, let's drop down this hole and go to the Lost Underworld. It's a long way down. Yep, as you can see, it zoomed out very far. Meaning, Lost Underworld is huge, and you move at a much slower pace. Not to mention there are dinosaurs here that are very, very dangerous. Well, let me take a look at my stats, are they any good? Then again, I probably healed as soon as I recorded the song. But after a wall, if you wait, and the ground starts shaking, you can see little geysers popping up like this. Whenever you go into, like, a blue geyser, you instantly heal. A nice little trick to move around faster, though you might want to use this at your own discretion, is use teleport. See, you move as fast as you normally would with a regular teleport. You just gotta make sure there's not too much space. Because if there is, then, well, obviously you're going to teleport, and you don't want to do that. So try to hit something on purpose if you think you've got a nice stretch. So it'll make moving around the Lost Underworld easier. Trust me on this one. Ooh, a bright food lunch. Yes, take it, Paula. Oh, there's a dinosaur. You don't want to get in a fight with him. Uh-oh. There's another one. Is it gone? No, it isn't. I don't want to know how far I can go with a teleport before I actually warp. So I don't want to, like, use the teleport to get around the dinosaur. But I may have no choice. Well, let's give it a shot. I mean, even if I get it wrong, at least I can warp back in the Lost Underworld. Or screw it up completely and get knocked right into the dinosaur! Give him a first strike and it's gonna be even worse! Luckily this one is not the worst dinosaur you can fight. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're weak against ice. Guess we're gonna have to fight this one. Hope for the best. Actually, Pooh, you can use this turn to recover. Okay, good. We got a really good chance against this guy. Like I said, this is not the worst dinosaur we can fight. I believe the worst one is called a Chomposaurus. Very, very nasty. But so far, I like our chances against this one. Why is it called a Wetnosaur, anyway? Last I checked, its skin is dry. Oh, Jeff's at level 65! HP 3? Gee, thanks. We're moving slowly! In case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Uh, what are these green things, tendas? You're strange, but you smell good, so I'll tell you a secret. Did you feel the earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot springs will erupt. The blue springs are great for recovering health. The red springs are perfect for healing paralysis or drying out poison. Okay, so there's two types of springs. That makes sense. The bird right here says strange words like hello and click beep beep beep. Really? So you're like a phone. Uh, hey mom, I'm in a land with dinosaurs. Uh, good to know you got a soap opera to watch. Yeah. 36,000 bucks, jeez. I'm rich. I wouldn't have it any other way. Alright, let's move on. I believe there are some items we can get along the way, and... Oh, that's just another hot spring going off. 
bad it's only in designated areas. But it can't be helped. Uh, here we go again. It's too bad you can't move during an earthquake. Though I can understand why they would not allow you to move. I mean, it is dangerous to move around during an earthquake. Ah, oh, there's a horn of life! I'll take it. I remember those tendas require horns of life for trading. Uh-oh, there's the Chomposaurus that I don't really like seeing. Uh, okay, this is not good. I did not get to go very far. But at least I got him stuck. Uh-oh, looks like I'm stuck too. Uh, get out of here. Okay, I got a nice bit of separation. Oh, God. Oh, I thought you can go past those trees. Oh, another one! Man, how do I always get these, uh, back attacks on these guys? Must be awful positioning on trying to escape them, and then I just run into something I thought I couldn't hit. Oh, then I guess I gotta be obviously more careful. At least these dinosaurs are weak. I don't want to take a chance on those Chomposaurs. What the hell is that? It looks like a moon! Don't chase me, don't chase me. Uh oh. He's gonna chase me. Ah, it's stuck in the tree. Yeah, he's stuck in the G. Ooh, is that a sea pendant? What is this sea pendant, anyway? Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from fire, freeze, and flash attacks. Ooh. That actually seems pretty good. It's got the flame pendant. Paula, rabbit's foot. Put on the sea pendant instead. Even though your speed will drop, I do value defense. Uh, is that moon humping the tree? Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut, get cut. But at least I turned around at the last second. The ego orb. I would not have an ego if I looked like that. I really would not. But that's just me. Maybe you would, I'm not sure. Well, I definitely would not have an ego now! But they don't offer as much experience as the Wetnosaurs. Yeah, I should be pretty close to where I should go. Oh, I see another gift. Hopefully it's safe. Wait, I think I have to go around. Nice, I do. Ah, Guts Capsule! Okay, we're running pretty full on our inventory. I'm gonna give this to Ness. Eh, let me go further west. I see some kind of village. I see a tenda up there. I hope that tenda's alright. Let me try getting in this little village. Yeah, let me in, please. You guys smell really good. <laughs> Who am I? I'm a tenda. Hey! What are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? I'm gonna open the door, and you get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I will let you out. Thank you for the tentacrout. Oh, okay, fine, take it. The awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. Thank you for coming all the way to into this primitive country. You must be tired. To, to stay, it'll run you $400. Uh, okay. Uh, did I give Jeff the broken antenna? I'm pretty sure I did. Ugh. Oh. Didn't. Should have done that sooner. Uh, why don't we stay one more time? If he fixes it, that's good. And he doesn't. Maybe I should wait until I go somewhere where I can rest for free. 
You finally came, Ness. Finally, you talk to me. Listen, Ness. I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. Ready? You're the chosen one. Your destiny is not only yours. It's the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember Giant Step and Onet? That is one of your sanctuary. It is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all your skills. There was a monster that protected it. The monster was influenced by the power of the place. You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. I'll tell you all of the power spots. 1. Giant Step in Onet 2. Lilliput Steps in Peaceful Rest Valley near Tucson 3. Milky Well in Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley 4. Rainy Circle found by Jeff in Winters 5. Magnet Hill at the edge of the city of Foreside 6. Pink Cloud which Pooh knows 7. And Lumine Hole where the Shining Lichen lives in the cave 8. A new place is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. If you do not fail, you may upset Gygus' plans. Understand, Ness? The time will come. The time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It is fast approaching. <coughs> uh, good to know! We made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up. That's what my brother tells me. But I don't believe it. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. But wait, isn't there a cage around you guys? Talkative to Mystery Rock, yeah, I already talked to the rock. Even though I listen to the talkative Mystery Rock story, I don't understand what he's talking about. It's not that complicated. Okay, you're the innkeeper. No, I don't want to stay. Tenda, who liked to talk, came to the Lost Underworld because we couldn't stand the quiet up above. So we established a separate tribe. I hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah, it was a lot easier to live up above. Well, compared to dinosaurs, it definitely is. Let's play store. My friend Aiko loves this game, so... Hi, may I help you? Um, what do you have? Ooh, man, that's expensive. What can I get rid of? Uh, let's see... What'll be something I won't use anymore? Um, I don't really see anything I can get rid of. I would like to pick up some more money. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a worldwide tenda. I was an exchange student who traveled to a country that is known as an economic superpower. My name is Igo Stick. Sticky. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Shall I loan you some money? If you want to withdraw, I will charge you a handling fee that is equal to the amount of with your withdrawal. Uh, yes. Um, let's go with $20,000. Might as well get you some nice bit of money. Now I can probably buy something good. Uh, the ultimate bat? I'll give that to Ness. Yes, please. What else would I like to buy? Holy fry pan. Give that to Paula. Okay, what else would I like? Shiny coin? I'll give it to Jeff. Ugh, he's got too much stuff, apparently. Let's see, what can I get put off Jeff for now? That secret herb. I'm gonna give it to Paula temporarily. Now I'll give the shiny coin to Jeff. Yes, please. 
Yes, please. And I think that's gonna be it. Let me see if it's over to the north of the village. I might want to take a look-see. I see a tenda. But what purpose do you have? A chubby, obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heart-trending. So, I'm healing my wounds in the hot springs. Yeah, just looking at Pokemon makes me want to rest in the hot springs. So if I have status ailments, I would come here. Thankfully, it's not a dark red, because I would really hate to bathe in blood. Or what looks like blood. Oh, I see another gift. I see a cave. Is this where I need to go? Let's take a look. That's right, Fire Spring is to the southwest. Hmm, this is a very strange looking cave and I can't do anything with it. So I guess I'll just leave and come back later. Uh oh. Can I get around you? Let's get a shot. Close enough. Haha, <laughs> you're stuck. I actually did something smart that time. I should give myself a cookie. Luckily, I still have some that my mom made weeks ago. A Cloak of Kings. So this must be Pooh's final piece of equipment. Why would it be here for some reason? Now his defense goes up to 183. What else does it do? I'm gonna take a look at that. Increases defense and, well, that's it. Didn't really increase any other stats, apparently. Uh oh, there's that Chopasaur. Or Chopasaurus. I mean, in order for me to find out what its name really is, I either have to look online or fight this thing, and I don't want to do that. Okay, nothing else over here, but I do see some kind of Tenda refugee camp. Here, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me, so I can relax. Except now I can't get out. Really? It, it looks very complicated. How do you not escape? Seriously. Okay, I think I'm gonna save the game. So it looks like I'm very close to Fire Spring. Let's see how far do I really have to go? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, I don't think I'm going to approach it yet, though, because of the dinosaur. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next part, I will meet you by Fire Spring. See everyone.